happy Tuesday. It's your girl Mel. I'm coming to you live from my kitchen here right outside St. Louis, Missouri. It's lunchtime for us. So we're just doing basic today. I wanted to just jump on, show you what we're making, talk with you guys for a few minutes, see what's going on. How's May starting out for you? You know, just kind of like hang out with my people while I make lunch. So as you guys are popping on, don't forget to say hey, say hi. Um, I, we're doing Taco Tuesday, right? So it only makes sense to do like Taco Tuesday. Um, if you guys are new to following me, put you in the comments. Uh, I've been on a lazy keto wellness journey for almost, well, it's over four years now. Yesterday was my four year anniversary. And so um, I've been following lazy keto for four years. Lazy keto is all about eliminating versus tracking. So it's eliminating bread, pasta, processed foods like chips, crackers, cereal, eliminating real sugar, and focusing on eating protein, veggies, fruits, and fats. That's what has been the most successful for me. It's super easy to follow. When you go out to restaurants, it's super easy to follow. When you're traveling, it's super easy to follow. Um, I think that a lot of people overcomplicate it. And so that's why I decided to go public on social media and kind of share my journey um, because I feel like a lot of people overthink it and I don't anymore. So anyways, um, on April 17th, my husband and I decided to do 75 hard again. It'll be the third time since uh, the beginning of September. But this time we're doing an elimination diet. So uh, some friends of mine had found this online place. I can drop the details. Um, but basically we sent in a stool and a blood sample. And they studied our, our stuff for a couple weeks. And then they sent us back our results and gave us suggestions on foods to eat and foods to avoid for a certain amount of time. So we decided to follow this for 75 days and pair it with 75 hard. So we're doing kind of lazy keto. So we're not having any pasta or bread, nothing processed. Um, we're not even doing processed meats. Um, and we're not having any sugar. Like we're our like dark cacao is even on our like no, no list, like the unsweetened stuff. So we're, we're just kind of navigating through that, but we'll have things like we can, like beans are superfoods of ours, oats, so oats are a superfood of ours, um, and we actually have minimal vegetables that we can have during the 75 days. So some of the food it says to avoid for like 30 days, some it says to avoid for like six months. It's not forever. Uh, it's literally just to give your body a break, and our results make sense. Because all the stuff that we're kind of supposed to avoid is stuff that we've eaten every day for four years. So basically it's like, let's go ahead and tell your body to take a break. So anyways, tacos are something that our family has always had. Um, and it's easy to make it work for your whole family, whether you guys are all following Lazy Keto or not. Uh, you just kind of make modifications for yourself. Um, so we're going to do kind of like... Um, like a taco salad, I guess. But like, with some other stuff. I think the mailman is here, and I think he has my skinny mixes. They've been lost in uh, the mail world for like two weeks. Um, but anyways, you can make modifications to taco night because you can do low carb tortillas, you can do no tortillas at all. You can do taco chaffles. You Like there's so many, so many things, right? So, um, that's what we're doing. We're doing tacos. So what are you guys... I'm wondering if the mailman's standing there. Hold on. Let me go look for just a minute. Never mind. D came out of his office. So what are you guys having for lunch today? I want to know. This meat is pretty good. We're going to minimize the heat and we're going to drain it. Hey, yeah. Here. Derek's early today. He wanted to make sure you didn't have any packages. That um, I do, but I can just send them out tomorrow. Are you sure? Yep. I, I can get them if they're labeled. They're not. Okay, so you don't have any ready? Nope. He's, our mailman's the absolute best. He's the absolute best. He's like, I'm early. Do you have mail that you need delivered? I do, but I'm not ready. So anyways. um, Let's see. Liz says it's still rainy and gloomy in Canada. Don't let this sunshine fool you. It's cold here. It's really cold. Windy, crappy. So anyways, 
anyways, do you guys have questions for me on anything? Uh, I'm working on a really cool website that will be available for everybody shortly. So that's exciting. Um, where all my recipes are even housed in a better spot than the group. So it's even more easier to find. Um, but I like, you don't have to be a big cook. You don't have to like do all this crazy stuff. It's literally super easy to, um, to follow lazy keto or to follow elimination diet. So with the elimination diet, we also decided to do dairy free for 75 days. Uh, my husband and I both did this test and we got different results. Um, but the one thing that was on his was um no cheese no heavy whipping cream and so i was like oh well i just won't eat cheese either so we decided to do that so if you hate cooking like i get it uh food is kind of like you have to think about it when you're on a wellness journey like if your main goal is to lose fat your you need to think about food as medicine so like where you, i i understand the hate cooking part i used to hate it too because it was like a chore like it was something that i had to do it was repetitious i was cooking foods i didn't like i was cooking foods i didn't like to eat um nobody ever told me that it was good like my family they were never like oh my gosh this is amazing because i didn't put any effort or energy into it and so that all changed in 2020 when we were kind of forced to be at home and doing absolutely nothing. So that's when uh, my daughter Kyla and I decided to uh, start like going live and cooking food and like doing all those fun things. Um, okay, so I added taco seasoning to my meat and then I'm going to go ahead and add the beans right to it. So we did um, kidney beans and pinto beans. We can't do, so D can't do black beans. So we even have to be kind of specific on our beans, but we're just going to mix this in here. It's going to be glorious. He can't do corn, but I'm going to do corn. So we're going to let this kind of simmer. Um, now we need to get some lettuce out. Let me know if you guys have any questions for sure. Uh, we're also doing protein shakes. So that's going to be awesome. Let me get these bowls. Okay, so I always take advantage of stuff like this. I got this at Target. This little bag of lettuce was $1.86. It's shredded green leaf lettuce. So we're gonna use that today. And I'm gonna put half of it in my bowl and half of it in his bowl. So we're gonna do that. I think there's more in that one. So we gotta spread it out. So when you guys are doing lazy keto and you're trying to get vegetables in and your main goal is fat loss, try to focus on green vegetables and try to get three to seven cups of vegetables a day. One cup of berries, three to seven cups of vegetables. Um, so there's that. I think I'm going to pop this in the microwave for like a minute. I also heated up some uh, zucchini spirals because it's a super food for both of us. So I think what I'm going to do, because it smells absolutely disgusting and zucchini has to be cooked like a certain way for me to enjoy it. I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm going to add it in here as well gonna be glorious we're just gonna try to pile in like what we can in here to mix it together and then go from there what do you guys think I know it's a weird combo but like that's how you find good things I don't know if if you guys have been following me for just like a few days or if you've been following me for a few weeks or longer but before we started this 75 hard and we decided to go dairy free we were eating what well, we I was obsessed with cottage cheese and seasoned taco meat so i would put um the seasoned taco meat on top of cottage cheese and put, some of you guys are probably like turning up your nose right now and you're like oh my gosh that's terrible um it's so good and so i just like stumble across stuff like that so adding the zucchini in here is giving us another one of our superfoods 
It's giving us a little bit more vegetable and the seasoning from the taco season because it's the meat and the beans. It'll kind of give it a little bit more flavor. So I'm going to sprinkle some corn on top of mine. He's going to be jealous, but just like a little bit of corn like that. I also got these little guacamole cups at Sam's. <clears throat> so that's going to kind of like be our dressing because we can't do it's so crazy. We can't do anything. We can't do tomatoes. So tomatoes, uh, what did I hear? They're called nightshades. So I just learned that. You guys teach me stuff all the time. But somebody said that tomatoes were nightshades. Um, but we can't have tomatoes. So no salsa, no ketchup. Um, and so we have to get even a little bit more creative. So this is going to be so good. I'm really excited. I love food. Um, the other thing I'm going to add is some sunflower. Some of you guys are like, what in the world? I'm going to add some um, sunflower seeds as well to give it a little crunch. Uh, what are nightshades? Like tomatoes is considered a nightshade. Like some vegetables. I don't, I don't know like the real reason why they're called nightshades, but I just know tomatoes are referred to as nightshades. And like some peppers. I know Steffi J's on here. She's like, what in the tarnation is Mel creating? Zucchini, beans, and seasoned taco meat. We're going to put it over some lettuce and corn. I'm going to add some of these sunflower kernels. And then I'm going to have a Chunky Monkey protein shake. And y'all are going to be jealous instead of laughing at me all the time. But it's going to be good. I want to try this, actually. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be bomb. It's just a little variation of Taco Tuesday. Huh. That's doable. Ooh, wow. That's good. That's good. I know some of you can't have beans because beans aren't keto, but... Mm-hmm. That's good. Um, I'm not going to mix them while we're on here, but these are protein shakes. So, um, D, this is what this is what it looks like before I mix it. <laughs> Don, why are you making a pukey face? Is that bad at all? So this is D's. He's doing strawberries, almond milk, and vanilla protein powder. And this is mine. It's bananas, powdered peanut butter, chocolate protein powder, and almond milk. So I'm going to mix these up and we're going to have that. Check out my stories um, when I'm done with this and you'll see videos in there. Okay, that's good. Let's just try to get this a little heated up. That's really good. It's got really good flavor. Yeah, don't be making don't be making any of them um, pukey faces without trying it first. I'm gonna call you out. All right, what else is going on? Do you guys have any questions? Like, if you're new to following me and you're like, I want to do what Mel does. I have an awesome support um, like group for all my customers. We drop all kinds of stuff in there. I just went live in there this morning. And talk to people, just broke it down simply on like how you get started with your ketones. I do supplement with ketones. Um, so we like talked about it in there. We're all creating P5 lists. Um, all of my like resources are housed in there. And if you're brand new and you've never ordered before, um, I have $20 off coupons. I'm down to three. I have three left. And um, once they're gone, they're gone. But you can stack those on top of the bundles that are on sale. And the best... The better bundle and the best bundle will give you everything you need for like over a month. So that's what I got going on. Um, and then you can kind of get a little bit more direct access to me. All of my customers have my phone number. We have little challenges. Be ready in the group next week. We're going to be doing a water challenge. And then later on this week, no, later on this month, we're going to do a sit-up challenge for seven days. I want to do sit-ups. So we're just going to do it for seven days though. So all of that's coming as well. Um, okay, so I think this is good. So then I'm going to just sprinkle it all over the top of, I wonder if he's going to be ready to eat. Okay. So, I mean, that's a, that's a lot. It's going to be so good. All right. So there's that. All right. And then I'm just going to take. A handful of sunflower seeds and I'm just gonna like sprinkle them on top they're gonna mix in really well and they're gonna be a great 
superfood for me. And then our dressing is going to be this guacamole. It doesn't have any tomatoes in it. So I'm just going to put this right on top, actually, right in the middle. It'll take better pictures that way. So there we go. Yum. So here's lunch, right? So we've got some lettuce, beans, seasoned taco meat with some zucchini in there all mixed together. Added some um, sunflower seeds and then some guacamole on top. Look how amazing that looks. So good. So that's what I'm having for lunch with my chunk. I know, see Dawn? See, you were puke faced in a few minutes ago. You just gotta give it time to come together. But anyways, this is what I'm having for lunch. I'm eating this whole thing, so this is gonna be great. I am doing a different fasting schedule, so I'm gonna be done eating around four. I'll have some fruit or something this afternoon. I know it kind of looks good though, Steffi J, because it, it is good. Oh, and I put corn on mine. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm having, a protein shake. I'm gonna have a fruit, like a fruit bowl, maybe some macadamia nuts um, for like a little afternoon snack, and then I'm gonna be done eating around four o'clock. So, I'm gonna jump off of here. I'm going to eat this and enjoy it um, and get on with the rest of my day. So don't think that you have to do anything um, out of the ordinary. Don't think you have to go buy a bunch of crazy stuff. You can take what you have in your pantry or stick to the plan of like what you're used to and just make small modifications so that it works into the plan for you. So anyways, there you go, friends. So pretty. All right. I am out of here. I appreciate you all. I love you all. If you want one of those $20 coupons, message me. Um, and if not, just keep watching. I'm not going to pressure you. Um, I watched for 15 months, but I'm telling you this lifestyle could literally change your life. Talk to you later. Bye.